Hello everyone, welcome to Twisted Serenity. Thanks for clicking on my channel. So today I am going to be participating in the Cloche DIY Challenge. So I'm excited to show you guys what I created and I'll let you guys know a little bit more about that challenge in a little while. So I created a couple different cloches and a couple like little trinkets to go inside. So I hope you guys really enjoy. So sit back and relax or craft with me. Let's get started. Okay, for our first one, you guys, I have this vase from Dollar Tree. This is plastic, and it is a little messed up because when they bagged it, they bagged both of my vases together, so they got scratched up and stuck together. And then the round piece is a leftover from a big candle that I had, a very large candle. And then I have like a little mini candlestick from Hobby Lobby and a little knob. So I'm going to start off just by staining with some Waverly Antique Wax our... Our little candlestick and I'm also going to stain our knob as well okay you guys so I just take some hot glue and use e6000 or something I'm just using some hot glue because at the moment I could not find my e6000 or my super glue and I then I found it afterwards but I glued our little candlestick to our wood round and then I grew glued I don't know why I'm saying grued, but glued our knob on top of our little vase. Now I'm going to just show you guys how I made, I wanted to make like vintage, like little mini books. So I'm going to make a couple different ones in these videos. This first one I'm using, this is like from Christmas time. They sell these at Dollar Tree all the time from different seasons and they're like little fake little books. So I painted it with some white, yeah, Waverly white paint and then I went over it with some antique wax and then I had a sticker I don't know where I got this sticker from it was like a vintage looking sticker and I put that on there and I put some wording on the side from a uh, Dollar Tree rub on transfer and I just I distressed it like I said with antique wax I wanted it to look very very old Now, if you guys can't find a piece like that little Christmas box, I'm showing you guys how I made another little faux book. So this is a piece of cardstock and some foam board. I just cut a couple strips of foam board and I just put some plaster over it just to seal it all up. And then the cardstock, I cut it down to fit the foam board. And now I'm just going to glue the foam board in the cardstock. And then what I do is take my pencils and just draw some lines so they can look like a couple book pages. And then I am going to, of course, distress it. But this little book, I distressed it with some white, uh, way really white paint. So it could just be like a little bit of a different color from the other book. And I also put a rub on transfer from Dollar Tree on there. I don't even know what the rub on transfer even said. If it, it, it wasn't a book title, but I just put it on there just to look like a little mini faux book. Now I have one of these cross ornaments. I think these are the Hobby Lobby cross ornaments and I'm just going to fill up the hole with some plaster and then I'm just going to stain this little cross with some Waverly antique wax. Like I was saying, I will show you guys how I make um, some more little mini faux books, but I didn't just want to stick things in the cloche without showing you guys what I made. Now, these are the rub-on transfers that I use for one of the little faux books. And now I'm going, it has like a little vintage postcard. And it's very small. And I'm going to use that little mini, I'm going to make like a little mini postcard using a craft stick and that rub-on transfer. I do paint the craft stick with some white paint. And I distress over it with some antique wax. Now it's time to build up our cloche and I do take out always a bunch of little different things and I switch things all around. I don't use everything that I am take out so I just place like little different things like to see how I want it. So I do use a little tumbling tower block to elevate this little book up. This terracotta, terracotta, terracotta pot. I already had this pot and I, it was reused from a previous DIY so I know I wanted to lay it down. I just stuck some moss in there. And then I take our little postcard and I'm going to stick it in there as well. 
This one's going to be very, very basic and very simple. And then I'm going to take a moss bunny. These little moss bunnies are from Hobby Lobby. They're not as green as the Dollar Tree ones. And that is it for this one, you guys. I love how simple but springish this is. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, you guys. So today I'm participating in the Spring Easter Cloche Challenge hosted by Tammy from Happiness Creating and Shawnee from Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Now, I'm sure you guys are going to love all these projects and make sure you guys check out the playlist in my description box where you guys will get so much inspiration by some amazing creators. So once you guys are done watching my video, make sure you guys check out that playlist. And if you're coming from somebody else's channel, let me know in the comments whose channel you're coming from. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe, like button, and let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Okay, you guys, for the second cloche, as you guys seen, I grabbed one of those plastic garden domes from Dollar Tree. And this wood round is a wood round from a pack of Hobby Lobby. I believe these are 10-inch wood rounds. So I'm just staining, staining the wood round using some Waverly Wax. Now, this little stand, this is, I'm reusing this. This is painted with black chalk paint because it's been so cold where I live and I'm not going outside to spray paint. So my little top as well, this is from a jar from Dollar Tree. It's going to get chalk paint as well. I give, I'm honestly so jealous of those people that have nice weather right now. I am being, I, I am being a hater, a number one hater of people that come from nice weather. So you guys. Enough of my rambling, as you guys know, as usual, I was just taking some glue, crazy glue, the gel one from Dollar Tree, and I just put some on my lid and put it on top of the cloche. Now, these are some more little mini faux books that I wanted to show you guys that I created. So this is, there goes my voice cracking again. So this, this is um some scrap little wood pieces that I had and I'm just taking apple barrel the warm buff color and I'm just painting around the borders like what's going to look like the book pages of all the little pieces of wood and then I I looked up I went on google and I looked up like vintage book covers and I just printed out a bunch of like random like little vintage book covers to fit the little pieces of wood and I take my purple disappear disappearing glue stick and I glue it onto our little wood pieces and then I sand them down and distress them I love the way these little books came out I'm telling you this is why I was showing you guys that I just made a bunch of like little faux books and I wanted to show you guys how I created them because I think almost all of the cloches I created today have all these little faux books inside of them okay so we're going to build up our our cloche so I take the candlestick and I just glue it into the middle of our wood round and then on when I I didn't show you guys, but I did wrap some twine around the top of our lid of our cloche. And I have this black wood beads that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to slide them over right. The these little plastic cloches have like a lip at the bottom. And I'm going to slide it right over. I'm not gonna glue them down. I'm gonna slide them right over. It stood there. I could pull it up and down and the beads stay on. Now we're gonna just take this little nest from Dollar. No, not from Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, from Hobby Lobby. I've been having this for years. I take this in and out for spring and Easter time. I love these little nests. I have a couple of them, actually. I thought I was going to use a nest for this one, but I do use it for our next cloche. And this little bunny is one of the styrofoam bunnies from Dollar Tree. I'm just reusing it from a previous DIY. A lot of the stuff I'm just reusing from other DIYs that I had. I had this little treasure box trinket box i'm not sure what it is but i had this in my stash and i'm going to stain it with some antique wax um i wanted to put i know that i wanted to leave it open on the cloche and put some stuff inside of it and i know that i wanted to incorporate it as well so i do play around with this as well and i actually love the way i love i think out of all the cloches this is my favorite cloche I'll just let you guys watch. Okay, and I add a little LED candle. I'm so out of frame, so I'm just telling you guys. And then I top our cloche on right on top of it, our dome. 
And that was it for this one, you guys. Okay, so we're going to use a plate from Dollar Tree for this one. And we're going to use another plastic garden, um, one of the garden <laughs> domes, cloches from Dollar Tree. You guys, I didn't tell you guys, I am popping off the black things on the top of the domes of the cloches. I, I don't know. I'm getting myself confused. Now, for this one, I glued, this is just like a top of, uh, you find this like in the school supply section. It's kind of like a mason jar lid type thing. I use that for the top of this one and this knob I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I use those as the tops of our cloches for this one. I didn't give our plate any height. Um, and I didn't do nothing to the plate because I already loved the design it had. Now, like I said, for this one, I'm just going to take the, our nest, some moss, and then I have these little dishes that I got, I think, from Hobby Lobby. And I do want to give them some, like, distance in between, like, a little bit of height in between. So I take some moss, and I also take a tumbling tower block to separate the first you know, the dishes in between each other. I'm rambling, you guys. I'm sorry. But you guys just seen what, <laughs> what I did there. Then I'm going to take... I do take some more moss and I place it on this one. So once again, I am changing it out. I left a couple of things that I changed out in there just in case you guys like one thing better than the other. So I have... These are like paper flowers. I think these are from Hobby Lobby. And I know I wanted to put them inside there. I do change them around. Now this little... This little duckling type chick thing. It's so chunky and so cute. I think that's from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. Because I know Dollar Tree sells something like that as well. Now, I know I wanted to give the back. Because I was going to stick one of my little full books in there. And I wanted to give it height. So at first I put like a little piece of wood. But then I forgot that I had this like wood circle thing from Dollar Tree. From a previous project. And that gave me a little bit more height. So I used that instead. And this is the cross ornament that I had. I think I used, I showed you guys, um, I was going to use it for my first DIY, but I used it for this one. And I stuck our little mini faux book in there. And this one came out wicked cute. It's, it's, I don't know. I can't, I said the other one was my favorite, but I honestly, I can't pick a favorite. They are so, so cute. And I stare at stuff for like a long time. And I change it, and I stare at stuff for a long time, and I change it, <laughs> and then I just have to top it off. That's it for this one, you guys. Okay, you guys, this is our last one, and this one is going to be fast, easy, and this is, this one is more on the, on the cutesy side. So I have these little mini, like, tea, it's like a plastic teacup, like a toy cup, and a little toy dish. And I'm just going to take some white and, white Waverly chalk paint, and I'm going to paint my base coat of our little cup and our little plate once i do paint it in white i do grab my color sandstone by waverly chalk paint and then i dry brush i want to make it look antique looking with some waverly wax i wanted to give it all different types of tones and to look very like vintage now the plate and i didn't show you guys this part but i did have to cut around the plate to fit inside this cloche that we're going to put together this little bunny i think this is from dollar general and i squeezed it into our little cup and once i stuck it inside there i took some spanish moss and you see the cup stretched out <laughs> and i stuck some spanish moss in there and then i had these little cabbage i think they're cabbage right or like lettuce i don't know cabbage lettuce whatever they're called it might even say it on there I'm too blind. I need my glasses. But um, I stuck some of those little picks inside the cup too. Just to give it a little something something. Now we're going to use one of these little Dollar Tree cloches. And we are just going to do give it a little bit of a makeover. So I grab the base and I take my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. And I give it two coats. Now for the top of our cloche I have like this little. It's not a knob. What are these called? These are called um the ends of dowel caps Do dowel caps i think they're called and i this these ones are by plaid yes and i also paint that with um our waverly white chalk paint now i have these little carrots these are the dollar tree carrots and i don't like how bright orange they are so i did paint them off camera and give them a little bit of a makeover i take my plate i stick it inside of our little 
our base of our, our cloche. I take our little cup with our bunny. I stick it on the plate. And then I stick some carrots inside of our cloche. And then I top um, put our top of our cloche on. And that was it for this one, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I want to say thank you for everybody that has subscribed to my channel. And for all my returning subscribers, I do want to let you guys know. I thank you and I appreciate you guys so much. Everything I do is always for inspiration. You guys can always switch it up. And I love that this could be everyday decor as well. Don't forget to check out that playlist. And you will find some amazing creators and some amazing inspiration. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post my next video. And always, always, always remember this world could throw you twists and turns. But always make good choices. To the next one, you guys.